Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Jessica Covington. Um, I am Egypt's sister. Even standing here today, I still struggle, as many of my family members struggle, to understand how someone is there one moment, does nothing wrong, and isn't there the next moment. Um, my sister was 13 months younger than me. I had never known life without her. And to this day, it's still, when something like this happens, the people that loved that person, the people that grew up with that person, the people that watched that person grow from their first breath, you still have moments where it's almost like it's happening all over again because you can be fine and you can have a good day and you can be celebrating something and something will tip you off and you remember, oh, but she's not here. And you go through all the emotions all over again, even if it's just in a half second, because you don't heal. You figure out how to do life. And I saw some cliche phrase one day and, and, and it did help make this make sense if you lose a leg, you don't stop living. Or if you break a leg, you don't stop living. But you learn to function with a limp. And that limp never goes away, and I don't know how to express to anybody who has not lost someone unexpectedly how that feels. But this is the best way that I know how to tell you. And although the person at issue today the boy at issue today was not the one inside of her home and was not the one that pulled the trigger. He was the one that initiated the act that led to her death. And he was the one that went to school with her, that went to school with us. And he was the one that knew her as a human being. And he was also the one that once he realized what happened, did nothing. He is as culpable as the person that pulled the trigger. And I don't even pray for his soul. I'm not there yet. I may never be there, but he deserves nothing less than the maximum because even the maximum does not bring her back. What is done cannot be undone. And so anything less than what can be given to him is even further from justice than the fact that she can't be. 